Well, Nate, we're just a few days away from Sold Out Arena in San Diego, fans back in attendance. What are the emotions now, just a few days removed from your fight? Fight time. I mean, the days are short, the nights are shorter, and um, co-main event, this, this sold out show, and it's time to do nothing but fight. And your opponent, David, he hasn't fought in front of a crowd for the UFC. Do you think that gives you an edge in there, knowing that you know what it feels like when, when fans are I don't think cheering? there's an edge. I think the first time I ever did something cool, it felt natural, too. So it's like you either got it or you don't. He, we're going to see if he has it. He probably has it, and uh, it's going to be a fist fight. And he had said that at one point you guys were matched up, and maybe he was filling in for an, a, your opponent that pulled out, but it ended up not happening, and he wasn't quite sure what happened. Is that true? Like you guys were matched up at one point? Yeah, it seems like he's the um, the guy they call when they need a replacement. So he stepped up. Um, seems like everything came together for what it's supposed to be. We weren't supposed to be on this card. I wasn't supposed to fight him. Now we're fighting, and we're going to be the co-main event of a sold-out show. So. Well, you're obviously coming off an impressive submission win. He's coming off his submission win of his own. So what do you make of his skill set in there as a fighter? He's good. I mean, um, he's big, he's tall, he's young, he's fast. Um, I feel like I'm going to smash his face in. We're going to see real quick. Um, we got five minutes to start off. We'll see if we make it to the second five minutes. We'll see if we make it to the third five minutes. I was going to ask, having previously been scheduled to face him, how much were you able to kind of like go back to the notebook in terms of camp and preparation for his strategy and what he does out there? Um, I mean, I wasn't really scheduled to fight him, so I looked him up a little bit. And then this fight, all eyes on him a few weeks ago when my other opponent couldn't make it because of visa issues. So he's got my full undivided attention. And on Saturday night, we're going to put on a show. In terms of making that adjustment, because, you know, obviously the other fight fell apart the way it did, what's the key to making sure you are still, you know, peaking uh, physically and mentally when you have to push it all back a little bit at the last minute? I, mean, I think it was a little bit better for me. I mean, more training. It's not always easy to go more than it is less time, so it's nothing. As far as mental-wise, uh, you'll never find nobody mentally tougher than me. Good. Appreciate it.